The Galaxy S24 Ultra will be the only phone in the series that will exclusively have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset. The remaining phones in the series will be a mix of Exynos 24.0 and the latest Snapdragon. It is safe to say that a lot of people are looking forward to seeing how the new phone handles. And now, we have the US version of the phone stopping at Geekbench 6, and we can see the scores. The US variant of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, sporting the model number SMS928U, has made a stop at Geekbench, and it is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor under the hood. The phone scored 2,234 points in single-core and 6,807 points in the multi-core performance test. According to the same tests performed on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is significantly slower. With the chart below showing that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy is more than 80% faster in this category. This is perhaps the biggest performance lead for a single generation, something that Apple's A17 Pro could not emulate when compared to the A16 Bionic. What is even more interesting to note is that the Vulcan test was performed on the Galaxy S24 Plus instead of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, meaning that even with a potentially smaller cooling solution, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 outperformed its predecessor by a significant margin. We expect to see a bigger difference when the same sock is found in the Galaxy S24 Ultra as its larger vapor chamber should contribute to higher scores. Remember that this 80 plus percent difference will not be seen in every test, such as ray tracing or even Genshin Impact, so we need to have realistic expectations from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Regardless, we will keep our readers updated when we stumble across more benchmarks, so stay tuned for more comparison. It still is important to keep in mind that having performance headroom is definitely good, and I have no doubt that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be one of the fastest phones available in the market. The phone is going to be going official in January 2024, and in the coming months, you can expect a lot of details to leak about the new phones. I am really hoping that the rumor of the Ultra variant having a flat screen is true since it will make everything a whole lot better. Rest assured, we will keep you posted as we hear more about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the upcoming Galaxy S24 family, so be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching we'll see you next time.